Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. This is Hemalata from Ponvitya Ashram. Today's session is Continuation of Diversity and Discrimination, Chapter 2 from Social and Political Life, Volume 1. In last session, we learnt about prejudices, stereotypes and discrimination. Now, we will discuss about the steps which were taken by the government to overcome all these problems. People who are engaged in different kinds of work like teaching, carpentry, pottery, weaving, fishing, farming etc. to earn a livelihood. However, certain kinds of work are valued more than others. Caste-based caste discrimination is not only limited to preventing minority people from undertaking certain economic activities but it also denies them the respect and dignity given to others. Dr. Bhimarao Ambedkar, one of the great leaders of India, shares his first experience of caste-based discrimination which took place in 1901 when he was just nine years old. He had gone with his brothers and cousins to meet his father in Koregon, which is now in Maharashtra. He faced a problem about this caste discrimination over there. But he wanted to prove himself. So he decided to be a great person in the future. Dr. Ambedkar was the first person from his caste who completed his college education and went to England to become a lawyer. Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar in, from 1891 to 1956 is considered the father of the Indian constitution. The Indian constitution is the book of rules which we are following now and which gives more rights to the people who were so called privileged. The struggle for freedom from British rule also included within it the struggle of large groups of people who not only fought against the British but also fought to be treated more equally. All the minority people, women, tribals and peasants fought against the inequalities they experienced in their lives. As pointed out earlier, many people who were minority organized themselves to gain entry into temples. Women demanded that they should have as much a right to education as men did. Peasants and tribals fought to realize themselves from the grasp of the moneylender and the high interest they were charged. When India became a nation in 1947, our leaders too were concerned about the different kinds of inequalities that existed. Those who wrote the Constitution of India, a document that laid out the rules by which the nation would function, were aware of the ways in which discrimination had been practiced in our society and how people had struggled against this. Many leaders of these struggles such as Dr. Ambedkar had also fought for the rights of the privileged people. So these leaders set out a vision and goals in the constitution to ensure that all the people of India were considered equal. This equality of all persons is seen as a key value that unites us all as Indians. Everyone has equal rights and opportunities. Untouchability is seen as a crime and has been legally abolished by law. People are free to choose the kind of work they wish to do. Government jobs are open to all people. In addition, the constitution also placed responsibility on the government to take specific steps 
to release this right to equality for poor and other such marginal communities. The writers of the constitution also said that respect for diversity was a significant element in ensuring equality. They felt that people must have the freedom to follow their religion, speak their language, celebrate their festivals and express themselves freely. They said that no one language, religion or festival should become compulsory for all to follow. They said that the government must treat all religions equally. Now we will see about the fundamental rights which were given in the constitution for us. Fundamental rights. In the part 3 of the constitution of our republic deals with fundamental rights. It contains powerful provisions to fight all forms of discrimination including those which are based on race, caste or descent. Everybody has equal rights and opportunities. Untouchability has been legally abolished and its practice in any form is not allowed by our government and the constitution. Everyone has the freedom to choose his or her occupation or profession. But before that, only the person and the father have to do the same work. We should not choose our occupation on our own. Anyone can apply for government jobs. People belonging to different religions have the freedom to follow their religion, speak their language and celebrate their festivals. The Constitution of India recognizes diversity and believes in equality. Everyone has the right to express his or her opinion. A religion, language or culture or festival cannot be forced upon people. India is a secular country with people belonging to different religions living together. Therefore, India became a secular country where people have different religions and faiths have the freedom to practice and follow their religion without any fear of discrimination. This is seen as an important element of our unity that we all live together and respect one other. Though these ideals are enshrined in our constitution, this chapter points out that inequalities exist even today. Equality is a value that we have to keep striving for and not something which will happen automatically. People's struggle and positive actions by the government are necessary to make this reality for all Indians. So children, in this chapter, we had read that everyone should be treated equally apart from their religion, language, community, etc. Everyone have the equal rights to live in this society, especially in India. That is why all our leaders together created the Indian constitution which is the book which gives us all kind of rights. With the help of that, we can express our opinion. We can live independently and we can show our thoughts. We can share our opinion in the society. Especially the people. constitution recognizes all persons as equal. This means that every individual in the country irrespective of his her or her caste, religion, educational and economic backgrounds is recognized as equal. Although inequality still exists in the country, yet the principle of the equality of all persons is recognized. 
while earlier no law existed to protect people from discrimination and ill treatment after independence our leaders had made now there are several that work to see that people are treated with dignity